Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on ordering numbers. So uh, this is the second video on this topic. In the first skill here we're going to look at ordering fractions, decimals and percentages. So in this example we have to put the following numbers in ascending order. So that's smallest to largest. Uh, so uh, we've got a fifth, 21%, 0 0.205 and 1 quarter. So we're putting these in ascending order. Uh, but first thing is we're going to have to convert these to the same form. So it's easiest if we convert these all to decimals. So first of all, a fifth is equal to 0 0.2. 21% uh, is equal to 0 0.21. And 1 quarter is equal to 0 0.25. So now we have them all in the same form. It's just a case of putting them in order. So the smallest of these is going to be 0 0.2. Uh, so that's a fifth. Uh, and then we have uh, 0 0.205 here. And then we have 0 0.21 and finally we have 0 0.25 uh, so you can go through each of those and make sure they're in order and that you're happy with it uh, but then all we have to do now is just put these back in their original form so 0 0.2 was 1 fifth 0 0.205 was given as 0 0.205 0 0.21 was 21 percent and 0 0.25 was one quarter so the next skill we'll have a look at is ordering negative numbers. So in this case, we have to put the following numbers in descending order. So that means largest to smallest. Now, uh, when we're considering decimals, the more negative a number is, so in other words, the larger the number after the minus sign, uh, the smaller we consider it to be. So uh, the largest is the one we're looking for first. So we've got 2.3, minus 2.3, 3.2, and minus 3.2. Uh, so let's just cross out the minuses first of all. So we've got 2.3 and 3.2, obviously 3.2 is larger, then we have 2.3. So let's cross those off in blue just to make it clear that we've already considered those. And um, we'll go back to considering these two minus ones. So as I say, uh, the larger the number after the minus sign, the more negative uh, and therefore the smaller we consider it to be. So uh, we consider minus 2.3 to be larger than minus 3.2 uh, because this one is more negative. So uh, that's all the numbers. These are all in descending order now. So the final skill that we'll look at is ordering algebraic terms. So in this example, we have to put the following numbers in ascending order, given that x is a positive integer greater than 1. Uh, so first of all, ascending order is smallest to largest. And the terms that we have are x squared, 1 over x, x and x plus 1. Now we're told that x is a positive integer greater than 1. Uh, so in order to work out what order these come in, we're going to have to substitute in a value. So the simplest value we can pick is x equals 2, uh, seeing as though that's the smallest one that's greater than 1, and there's no need to make it any more complicated than that. Uh, so first of all, then, let's substitute in x equals 2 to these values. So x squared equals 2 squared, uh, which is 4. 1 over x equals 1 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.5. And then x is obviously just equal to 2, and x plus 1 is equal to 3. So the terms then are 4, 0 0.5, 2, and 3. So if we put these in ascending order, we get 0 0.5, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, but we're not there yet uh, because we need to just put these back in their original form. So uh, the final order then will be 1 over x. Then it will be x. Then it will be x plus 1. And then it will be x squared. So this is the final order from smallest to largest. If you're feeling ready to test yourself with some ordering numbers questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong and so on and it will help you prepare for your exam. Uh, so if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.